so here's what you need to do to get logged on to the ebook and the study area. First of all, you need to go to this website, www.pearsonschool.com slash access. When you get there, you will look at a screen exactly like what you are seeing. You have your access code. It's just like this, and I gave them all to you guys in class today. I'm going to use one from first hour as an example, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, the first thing it wants you to do is it wants you to enter the first six characters. So I'm going to go copy and paste. And I'm going to enter that code. Okay, next, you're going to see this screen. You're going to click on Covered Titles. You're going to choose Science. And then you're going to drop down to Campbell Biology Concepts and Connections, 7th Edition, Mastering Biology with eText. You're going to click Student Registration. You're going to accept. You are going to say no. You do not. You will create a login name. I'm going to just make one up. So, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to check for availability. It's good. I'm going to create a password. I'm going to create the password again, or just retype it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here's what you're going to do. You see here it says enter your access code. I want you to click this little icon here right below it, switch to a single box. Then you can go to Facebook, and you can just copy and paste it straight in. So I'm going to go right here, control C, control V, next. All right, first name, last name, email address, retype it, school location, we are in the United States. Our zip code is 73170. Select your school. Westmore is not on here. You scroll all the way to the bottom and you select other. You type in then Westmore High School. School City. Oklahoma City. School State is Oklahoma, obviously. Now, security question. I'm going to say, I'll choose that one. Choose something that's not ever going to change, obviously. And I'm going to go next. Okay, so there you go. You now have access to this. Now I'm going to click log in now. Did I receive a course ID from my instructor? Yes, I did. What is it? Well, again, I posted that on Facebook. So, my first hour class code was this. So I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to continue. I'm going to enter my, this is my Westmore student ID. Continue. And there we go. I'm in, look, I'm logged in. There's my name. Um, my courses, well, what am I in? Well, I'm only in this one course. Okay, so there's the course I'm in. Um, can I access the study area? Yes, I can. Here we go. If I wanted to look at some stuff about DNA or genetics, because that's going to be on our test tomorrow, so I might want to come down here to the cellular basis of reproduction and inheritance, or patterns of inheritance. So let's go to 8. Click Go. And here you go, meiosis and crossing over. So, Bioflix, meiosis, the MP3 tutor. If I want to see the book, if I want to actually read this section, you see the little text icon right there. So I can just click that.
Nope, I clicked something else as I was resizing. Okay, so I can just click right here and it's loading. And here you go. Okay, here is mitosis and there starts meiosis. So here is the full electronic version of the book. I can zoom in or out by using these controls here. I can, if I want to put in a note, like a little comment, I can just click the thumbtack and I can drop it in right wherever I want, type in a comment, put in a link if I want to. I'm going to cancel that. I can highlight. If I think there's something that's really important and I want to highlight it in a certain color, I can say, okay, hey, um, Oh, let's just pick something here. A typical body cell is a somatic cell. So if I thought that was really important, okay, and I did a very good job of highlighting, but you get the point. If I want to, you know, do more than one color, I can do that. Um, this is my glossary right here. Click the A to Z, just like a dictionary. There's your glossary. Uh, I adjust, I can go from a one-page view to a two-page view. Here it comes, there it is. That's really nice if you're on a wider screen. I can move back and forth between pages with these buttons here. And that's pretty much it for right now. So, hopefully that will help. If you have any questions, put them up on the wall um, or send me a text.